et bienvenue au Cocktails avec Kira. Mon nom est Kira et aujourd'hui nous faisons un 75 français. All right, so I did my best to introduce the cocktail in French. Apologies if I have absolutely butchered it, but I'm very excited to make this cocktail. The French 75 is one of those classic cocktails. It originated in the early 1900s. Apparently the cocktail itself is actually named after a French artillery rifle. The idea is that they pack a punch and they really sneak up on you. And I mean, when you're mixing gin with champagne, you're probably going to have that effect. So it's something I'm really excited to make today because I've never made it at home before. So like most of the cocktails I end up attempting here on my channel, this one is incredibly simple. It only has four ingredients and it looks very quick to make. I'm gonna be using some Tanqueray gin. This is a London dry gin. I think it's gonna work really, really well. I'm also using some freshly squeezed lemon juice. This is gonna give it that lovely flavor. I'm also gonna be using some simple syrup. This is the same batch that I make. I tend to make this once a month. It's so handy for using in so many cocktails. And then of course our final ingredient is champagne. Now because this is a French cocktail, I have to include some French champagne and I have a mini bottle of Moët et Chandon, so I thought this would be absolutely perfect. What a great excuse to pop a mini bottle. I do wish I had a gigantic bottle of this to open, but every time I have a bottle of this in my house, it always gets drank within a week. So the measurements for this seem to be pretty easy to follow. We're gonna start with one part gin. Of course, we're gonna be using the Tanqueray gin for this. Cheers. Mm, it's so much nicer when it's in the freezer. Okay, so let's pop in our measure of gin. So we're gonna go in with half that of lemon juice. So we're gonna fill it up about halfway and throw her in. Then we're going in with two dashes of simple syrup. I'm just gonna do like kind of less than a capful. That should be fine. I'm gonna go in with the ice and give it a good shake and then that will chill it nicely. Okay, I think that has been 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna grab my champagne flute. It is chilling in the freezer. Look at this, my champagne flute is nicely chilled. Now it is time for the fun part. We get to add our champagne. There is something so whimsical and fun about popping a bottle of champagne. I wish you could do it every day. It's just the best sound. Time to strain this in. Top it up with champagne. Beautiful, oh, that is very full. You should probably pour it a little bit further down just so when it fizzes up, it's not gonna overflow, but that's fine. So the traditional garnish for a French 75 is a little bit of lemon peel. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel myself off some of the rind. Let's make that a little bit neater. And then I'm gonna give her a twist. This is so full. I'm gonna give her a twist. Release some of the oils. Apparently you can rub the oils on the rim of the glass and on the stem if you're feeling extra fancy. And then you can kind of just pop it in the drink. And it's done. It's so simple. So I'm gonna do something blasphemous and just teaspoon out some of the liquid because like I said, it is very full. Just looking at it, it looks so beautiful and so refreshing. It would be the perfect drink to have on a really hot day. I am absolutely dying to try this. So if you'll join me over in my Dr. Evil chair, we can actually have a toast and see what this tastes like. So I'm back in my Dr. Evil chair. I'm really excited to try this. It looks so bubbly and refreshing. So let's give it a go. Oh my God, it's so light and refreshing. It's so perfect for like a summery day. In my humble opinion, a French 75 is a far superior brunch drink than a mimosa. They're so delicious. You really can't taste the gin at all, which is probably why these sneak up on you so much. They're so light and refreshing, but don't let that fool you. These are absolutely loaded. <laughs> so there you have it. That was my take on the classic French 75. Do let me know in the comments what cocktails you would like to see me make next. And of course, if you make a French 75 at home all the time, let me know what your tips are. Do you do any twists to the drink? I wanna know. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. But if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers.